Organizing a Passover, a Pesach Seder, is so much easier than you might think. What is brilliant about Seder is that you can have lots of people around the table or just a few people and you are explained every step of the way how we remember what happened to us when we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. This is our Haggadah, our recipe book, our guidebook to what to set up for Seder and then how to run the Seder. In the middle of a Seder table, you put the main symbols that will be discussed. The first one is the egg, a roasted egg, which you can just do in the oven, which reminds us of an additional sacrifice that was made, a roasted sacrifice in the temple in Jerusalem. This is a real lamb's shank bone, but you do not need to have a real one, to remind us of the roasted lamb of the Passover sacrifice. You have maror, reminding us of the bitterness of being slaves, which is horseradish. Then we have kalpas, which is the hors d'oeuvres, which is the spring vegetable, because which is how we start the Seder. And as you can see from this lovely sunny day, um, Passover is our spring harvest festival. We also have what's called haroset, which can be made with apples and wine and nuts, or it can be made with figs and dates. Um, lots of different people make them in different ways. It's meant to remind us of the cement, the dense cement that was used when the Israelites built pyramids when we were slaves in Egypt. We also have on the table matzah, which I'm going to put into a three-layered cover, but you can just put serviettes or something on it, um, which is called the bread of affliction or the poor bread because when we were slaves and we had to leave Egypt in a hurry, we didn't have time for the leavening and the lovely fluffiness that is bread rising. We had to run out of there. And this is the symbol, you can hear it, of affliction. Also on the table, you will find an egg, um, which is how people start the meal itself, which is in salt water because during the meal, we dip in salt water. And what is the salt water about? It's about our tears. It's the tears of slavery that is vital for us to remember. The whole point of Seder is to remind us where we came from. So from the point of view of needing to set things up, you need two candles in order to light the festival candles. And you can really set this up in an hour. One of the most important things that we do at Passover, at Pesach, is invite people we don't know, invite others into the Seder, particularly people on their own who might want to be included or people who can't afford to have a Seder. That is the key message of Pesach. We were slaves, so we need to identify with other people who may be having a hard time. Our job is to bring justice 